main question I have is like they didn't ask anybody about the kid who now is at Valley. Yeah. Right. Right. Like so you just took his word for it on his appeal, but yet we appeal for those other kids and like they ended up doing all this investigative work on everything you said in the letter and the appeal. Yeah. Which of course they're gonna say that none of it's true. Which because it's basically then you have to take a kid's over a coach. Like that's yeah. I really want to take this screen out. I know, that's what I said. It's trippy. It's trippy. Like, you see, like, you're, like, trying to look. That one it's down, if you sit there, go we'll look through that one. It's, like, super clear. And this is, yeah. like. Okay, it's right. Yeah. That's not fair. Can you give me a test right there? Should be good. Um, it should be all right. Did these there. come out? Like, what if I want to talk crap and I don't want to be a live stream? Yeah, yeah. so you can, you, you have this. Uh, like just donate. Just donate to the area. I think it's these. Yeah. Yeah. I do. You have to pull those down. Yeah. Pull them down and then pull them out. Yeah. Right. Yeah, there it is. It's just trippy, like, because, like, their letters are really hard to see. Fans, hey, just again, another reminder of that concession stands. Please go and visit it. Great food and great drinks available. Thank you. Dan Beacom Field, correct? Right? Yeah. Dan yeah. Beacom Track Complex? Track and Field Complex? Track Complex?
Who's number three now? What's up? I don't Cirque. Cirque? What's his old number? 18? Yep, I see it now. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Good luck. <laughs> so I just want to get you know that I was like, all right, bro, this is your plan, man. If it's a run play, I don't care who it is. Just go block and put your head first until if it's a pass play, just run as deep and as fast as you can. <laughs> That's what you he, said? He, uh, he has all the plays on his arm. He's, oh, he does? Me, if it's he wrote him in pen? Yeah. <laughs> I told him if it's a run play, dude. If it's a run play, you got to put some dude in the dirt. He doesn't really care. So put some dudes in the dirt. Yeah. Good afternoon, fans, and welcome to the brand new Dan B. Gum Track Complex for today's contest between the visiting Dakota Wesley and Tigers. And your Dakota State Trojans. <laughs> At this time, we'll have the captain's meeting. Captains for Dakota State. Number 47, Cooper Vincent. Number 40, Rhett Bertram. Number 88, Tommy Leis. And number 18, Brady Dannenberg. For the Tigers, number 18, Joshua Coleman, and number one, Connor Drake. Dakota State has won the toss and elected to defer. The Tigers will receive.
this time, we ask that everyone would please rise, remove your caps and hats, and face the flag for the play of the National Anthem. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Trojan football. All right, let's, let's start the game right now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Play clock. Let's start the play. Play clock. Was I that quick? Play the national anthem. Ready? Play. <laughs> 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 yeah. What song is it? Sir, this is the one. This is play after coin toss. This is what it says. I don't know. I just thought I was the lead. <laughs> chaos. This is chaos. <laughs> 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 And welcome to Dan Beacom Track Complex as your Dakota State Trojans take on the Dakota Westland Tigers. Dakota State won the toss. They elected to kick as Dakota Westland will return. As Dakota Westland will set to receive, we got Josh Smith for the Trojans kicking off. As he booms it deep. Return by Dakota Westland. Jasper. Jasper gives him with a good hustle down there. And a swarm of Trojans make the tackle. It'll be number. Tackled by number 24, Sterling Harris, and looked like number 51, Justin Holm, was in on the tackle. As the Trojans will take the field, or the Tigers will take the field uh, at the 25-yard line. <coughs> uh, Dakota Wesson comes out in a... Doubles formation, two receivers on the field side here. And they're running some in outside zone. Oh, bootleg. Yep. And picked off. Picked off for the Trojans, number 51. Interception. Justin Holm with the interception. As the Trojans take over here on the 32-yard line. Hey, tell Kibby, does Kibby have the headset? Tell Kibby I said, I told you the bootleg's coming. As Trey Hedick will be under center for the quarterback, number 10. Next to him at running back is number 24, Sterling Harris. 
Split out wide is Maddox Keeney, Derek Even, and number 87, A.J. Simpson. <laughs> and pass is incomplete looking for Derek Even. Second and 10 here for the Trojans on the 32-yard line. Good field position here. And balls fumbled, has the handoff to Sterling Harris. That ball is fumbled, so now it's going to be third and long here for the Trojans. Uh, checking in at running back it now is number 15, Xander Sheehan. As we got trips set down here, uh, the bottom here as a trade drops back. Good pass. A good throw and catch there to Tommy Lace. Brings up fourth down for the Trojans. Be about fourth and four. As I'll go. Looks like they're going trips to the left again. Up to the field. Xander Sheehan in at running back next to the quarterback. Fourth and four here. As Trey Heddick takes a drop and he just throws the ball up. And there'll be a turnover on downs. There'll be a turnover on downs for the Trojans. As the Trojan defense heads back out. Trey Heddick had a good, uh, good completion there on third down. And as uh, Dakota Westland comes back out on offense. Who's a? I can't see the, what's the number of the quarterback. Two. One. Seventeen. Seventeen. I'm throw out there the running back. Good tough run there. Quarterback for the for Dakota Weston's number seventeen, Jed Jensen. And the pass is completed, number five, Kobe Kaiser. As uh, Dakota Wesson gets the first down, comes back out in their doubles formation and looks to run the ball here with the running back and met in the middle pretty quickly there by number 56, Zach Bowden. As it brings up... Yards. Brings up second and eight here. And another tackle by Zach Bowden. A little couple yard run there. That brings up third and four. Running back here. And we got trips open set here. And pass is incomplete. Intended for number 35, Sam Welch. <laughs> and it brings up fourth and four. As uh, Dakota Weston's in their punt formation. Punt is low snap. Good punt though as it's deep. Uh, 
And it might be catch interference down there called as Von Johnson. I didn't even know, looked like he might have. I don't even know if he really dropped it. Looks like D Dub just kind of pulled that out of his hands. He did signal for fair catch. And it looks like it was catch interference. Catch so, interference. <coughs> so Dakota State, Dakota State will take over. As Trey Heddick will bring the Trojan offense back out onto the field, as they uh, come out in a two by two formation here. Ball in the 39, first and 10. Dakota Westland on defense. Trojans in their dark blue, hands off directly to number 20. Hands off to Gabo as he had some penetration there up the middle as it made him cut back and he slipped. That brings up a second and 12. As uh, Dakota lines up in their trips formation, Dakota State lines up in their trips formation. They do a quick uh, look over. Snap the ball as it, as it pass. Good hard run by Trey Hedick as he gets back to the line of, our initial line of scrimmage. And that brings, brings up third and 10. <coughs> As uh, number 18, Dannenbring checks into the game. As they have a trips open set here. Three receivers split wide to the boundary. Dannenbring uh, under center. As... As he catches and throws. And that brings up fourth down. Good good catch there by number one, Slim. Sean Crawford. Missing guys. As Dakota State will go out to punt. Josh Smith back to punt. Luke Shocker, the snapper. As a good punt as it rolls down to the four yard line. <coughs> good punt from the Trojans. as Dakota State's defense will head back out there. As Dakota, Dakota Westland comes back out on offense. As they line up in their two by two formation, Dakota State and good job, Zach Bowden. Good fill and tackle there by number 56, Zach Bowden. Yes, no looks like Dakota Wesson got back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second, second and 10. As uh, Dakota Wesson now on a, a Twins open set. They pass the ball. 
good tackle out there by number 19, Vaughn Johnson. Gains about six to seven back here. It'll be third and about third and three. Oh, third and two. As Dakota State now, third and two, Dakota Westland. And they're two by two formation. And they hand the ball off, and he is met in the backfield. <coughs> Tigers hand it off for no gain. That'll be. Looks like Rhett Birch from number 40 who got in there, number 47, Cooper Vincent as well. And be fourth and two. Dakota Westland brings out their punt team. And we might have another catch, another catch interference. Hey, Murph. Hey, tell them, tell Kibby or tell, tell them that they can rotate some of the backers now. As Dana bringing under a quarterback, and he throws a quick speed out. Up top to number three, Derek Even. Quarterback Brady Danny Brady's pass is complete. Number three, Derek Even. Gain of four yards. Second and six for the Trojans. I'll be second and six here. Dakota State comes out in their trip set. Zaner Sheehan at running back right next to Dana Bring. Got Derek Even, AJ Simpson split out wide. Throws the bubble out to Even. He makes the guy a miss. He gets vertical. And it'll be a gain of about three. Brings up third and three. Number 58 for the Dakota Westland makes a tackle, Justin Bayer, freshman linebacker, as Dakota State now has a third and about four. As we have uh, Dana Bring, quarterback here, Sheehan at running back, shifts over. Handoff to Sheehan, and he falls forward for about three. It'll be fourth in about one. Gain of two yards. Tackle was made by number 59, Carter Retz. It'll be fourth and, fourth and one. We'll bring up fourth and one for the Trojans. As they have their 12 personnel set in, two tight ends split out to the right here. Looks like number 27 at running back. Gabo Gabo. He shifts over to the right. It's going to be a quarterback run. And Dana Bring falls forward for the first down. Little quarterback outside zone on the boundary. First down, Trojans. And 
And a first down for your Trojans. And that's another Trojans. First down. As our PA announcer Braxton Locker has no enthusiasm. I do too. They hear you. And quick handoff to Gabo Gabo. He falls forward for about two yards, bringing up second and eight here for the Trojans. Gabo Gabo. I don't know. Probably uh, him or Brooks. <coughs> so, as we have 11 personnel now, as Folkers is in at tight end. Got Gabo Gabo at running back here still. Dan and here with a trip set to the field. <coughs> he doesn't look. Looks like he's checking the play here. And it looks like the Trojans will take a timeout as the play clock was winding down. It's uh, three minutes here left in the first quarter. Thank you to all of our workers that are working the scoreboard and score, uh, score clocks today as uh, Dakota State taking on Dakota Westland here on this fine Sunday afternoon. Coach Kibbe looking uh, looking to get his first win of the season here for the JV JV squad. People are starting to murmur that Braxton Locker has lost his enthusiasm. It was a, a a little late on the music choice there, but. <laughs> As the Trojans come back out with second and eight here <coughs> in the red zone. <laughs> here on the new the new complex, they have the blue line around the 10-yard line. I like to call that the blue zone. As uh, Dana bring at quarterback, Gabo Gabo next time at running back. And going to be a QB run. Dana bring going to take it all the way. To the two yard line. First seven yards. That's another yeah. DSU Trojan. I wouldn't, but. <coughs> First and two for the Trojans. Tell Kibby, yeah. As the Trojans now first and 10 on the two yard line. Dan and Bring with Gabo next to him. Hands off to Gabo as he. That's Sterling Harris, excuse me. Hand off to number 24, Sterling Harris gets bottled up by a bunch of Tigers. As Dakota Wesson with a good stop there. It'll be second and two, second and goal here. As Xander Sian checks in at running back. Number 80, Gannon Grunhagen, the DeSmit legend. As the Trojans line up with a tray set. And Coach Kibbe did not like what he sees there, taking a timeout. Coach Randall is getting the offense together, see what we can draw up here. It's going to be second and three. There we go. Got the music playing a little quicker now. Pretty good turnout here. Dakota Westland's got a good uh, fan section. A lot, of, a lot of Trojan faithful here there as well. It is second and two here for the Trojans. <coughs> and Dan Bring says Maddox in, mo Maddox in motion. Touchdown, Trojans! And up to number four, 
And nice little little triple option play there as Dan and Bring pulls the ball and pitches it to Maddox Keeney, number four, for the first Dakota State touchdown of the game. Hey, you, know, you know, getting excited doesn't mean just get your voice deeper, though, right? You know, you know, you know right? <laughs> That's another Dakota State <laughs> touchdown. Uh, Josh Smith is good. As Josh Smith good puts it through. As Dakota State takes the lead 7-0 with a minute 44 left on the game clock. Hey, who's doing the game clock? Well, this, let's, well, it is a little too fast. Well, there's a minute left in this first quarter still. Dakota State leads 7-0 over Dakota Westland. As Ethan Eli is out there to kick the kickoffs. Kicking off for the Trojans, number 38, Ethan. As Dakota Westland returns. Nice tackle there by number 19, Vaughn Johnson. And 16, Mikey Hart on the return. All the way to the 37-yard line. Tackle was made by number 19, Trayvon Johnson. Tigers will take over first pitch. <laughs> As uh, Dakota Wesson takes over now. <laughs> yeah. Pass. Wheel. Wheel. Grimace. Fix. Broken up by number 30, Hudson. Fix. Dairy Queen man himself. As Dakota Wesley now third and 15. Twins set and they <coughs> chain of the ball off. It looks like 97. Rashad DeBose with a good series there as he gets the tackle. It'll be fourth and long now as Dakota Weston looks like they're going to put their punt formation out again. As uh, back to return now looks like it is. Excuse me, number 24, Terrell Williams. Looks like T. Will is back to return for the Trojans. Ran into the shield, bro. He, he, he got blown up. He, 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 he got rocked. He tried to let it move. It just 
like a, the, it's like what a Kodak. How do you, how are we gonna go? Head first. <laughs> As the Dakota State takes over on their 30, on the opposite 37 yard line, looks like Dana brings still in at quarterback. We got McDonnell split out here to the bottom. Trip set up top. As we drop back to pass, quick pass to McDonnell. All right. Incomplete, be second and 10. <laughs> It'll be second and 10 here for the Trojans as they uh, get a tray set down here to the bottom. And they'll throw the quick slant up top, and that's completed to number 89, A.J. Seamson. Or Tyson Grindy, excuse me. Danny Brings pass complete to number 89, Tyson Grindy. And that'll be the end of the first quarter as your Trojans lead 7-0 over Dakota Westland. It'll be third and four coming up. And your Dakota State Trojans, seven. As the second quarter resumes, Trojans here with a third and th third and three here. Dannon bring Josh back. He wants to throw it deep to Kiso, and it'll be incomplete. For number fourteen, Jay Kiso goes incomplete. Great pass defense. And it'll be fourth and three now for the Trojans. As we uh, be fourth and four, Dakota State here with the twin set up top. Dan and bring at quarterback. Hands off to Sterling Harris, and he will be just short, looks like, Dakota Westland with a quick stop. And it'll be a turnover on downs. That was be first and 10 here for Dakota Weston on their side of the field. As Dakota Weston brings their offense out. As the Trojans will be on defense here. First and 10 from the 46 yard line here for Dakota Weston in their territory. Got a tray set up top, unbounced, quick fly motion, 84. As he catches the edge, good hit by number 50, Caden Hofer. But it'll be a gain of about six 
as it brings up second and four for the Trojans. He will gain about six yards. 86 for Jackson Dakota Westland. 84 with the carry there, excuse me. Jackson Jarding with the carry. Brings up second and four here as Dakota Westland mishandles the snap. And a big scramble in the back. Snap leads to a Dakota State sack. And on that sack is number 94, Francisco Arende. And number 96, Dylan. And that brings up third and extra long here for Dakota Westland as there's a swarm of Trojans back to tackle the quarterback. It'll bring up third down. After the mishandled snap. And Dakota Westland with their twin set. They drop back to pass and he'll be Jensen brought down. Is sick by number 54, 54. Oscar Kuistra. Number 54, LB. Oscar Kuistra with the sack. A loss of about four yards, bringing up fourth down. As it'll bring a fourth and extra, extra long as Dakota Westland back trots out their the punt team. This is number 19, Trayvon Johnson. Von Johnson back to return for the Trojans. As the punt is uh, another mishandled punt back there by Vaughn. <laughs> As Vaughn Johnson uh, is able to pick it up and he is destroyed. He is destroyed there by Dakota Westland at the 28 yard line. As the Dakota State will take over first and 10. I just want to give a huge shout out to a Dakota State legend, Miranda Siliason. As she set many records here at Dakota State. Just want to give her a huge shout out. Appreciate her tuning in and checking out the Trojans. It's an honor to have, an, have her watching. It'll be first and 10 here at Dan Beacom Complex for the Trojans. Got number 10, Trey Haddock in at quarterback. Trey drops back. And intended for Max Kahn, and then it is in, broken up by number 47, Ashton Munsell. That'll be broken up by number 47, Ashton Munsell. Good, a good break on the ball there from Ashton. As Dakota State now has second and 10. They line up in their trips formation. Three receivers spread out here to the bottom. Trey Haddock at quarterback. Next to him, number 15, Xander Sheehan. And he throws it to A.J. Simpson. And then there's another scramble on the ground. Pass intended for number 87, A.J. Simpson. Will be fumbled. And that was a chaotic play there. As looks like the Tigers pick up the fumble. It was a tight, tightly contested throw, great catch, and then end up coughing up the ball as the Dakota Westland will, will take, over. take over here at the 42-yard line. As it'll be first and 10 for Dakota Westland. Power. As number 30, Hudson Fix with the seatbelt. <laughs> yeah, Jensen pass intended for number 86. Number Barnhart is broken up. 86 was the intended 30. receiver there for Dakota Hudson Westland. Fix. Mason Barnhart. As that brings up second and ten, Hudson Fix with a great break on the ball. Those Southeast Hudson Minnesota Hudson boys. Second. Great break up today. As Dakota Dakota Westland comes out with their tray set. 
And they run outside zone here to the field, and he's breaks a couple tackles as he falls forward to about third and five now. Landon Iverson with the carry. The Battle of the Hot Spring Brothers. Tackled by a host of Trojans. As it brings up third and about five here for Dakota Wesleyan. Third and five for the Dakota Wesleyan Tigers. Fans, let's make some noise. Let's get loud. As Dakota Wesleyan hands the ball off. And it's going to be close. He kind of falls forward to about three and or four uh, yards. It'll be fourth Iverson. and two. Gains maybe three <laughs> yards. Tackle was made by number 15, 52, Jalen. And number 51, Justin Holmes. Timeout, Dakota State. As Dakota State takes a timeout. So they had an injured linebacker there. Brings out. Oh. Oh, our edge got destroyed. And tackle by T. Will. Good run there from Dakota Westland. Number, I think that was Iverson again, hot spring legend. Number 38, Hadley Wallace. Nope. Scampers Excuse me, number 38, Hadley Wallace. All the way down to the 15 yard line. As. Dakota Westland gets a first down on the 15 yard line. T Will. T Will. Tackle was made by Terrell Williams. As Dakota Westland here with the first and 10, as they hand the ball off. Inside met by a swarm of Trojans. Falls forward for about three. Be second Landon and seven. Iverson on the carry, a gain of three yards. Tackle by Trojans, number 97, Rashad DeBose Jr. As Dakota Westland now, second and eight. With 11 personnel in, they get their trips set to the field. Maxwell tied in down here to the boundary. As Jensen tried a fade in the corner. Be third and eight here. This will bring up third and eight. Trojan fans, let's make some noise. Be third and eight here for Dakota Wesson. Good tackle there by number three, Sandy Shirk. Great tackle by number three, Landon Surick. That'll bring up fourth down. We got to get loud. So it'll be fourth and nine here for Dakota Westland. We two twin set here for. And that is a great catch there from Dakota Westland. And it is caught 
Good catch there by a swarm of defenders were there and unable to hang on to the ball. Jed Jensen with the touchdown pass. Justin Holm and look like Brogan Glover were in coverage. On to attempt the extra point is number 35, Samuel Welch. That is number 35 for Dakota Weston will attempt the PAT, Samuel Welch. And he makes the field goal. Sean Slim Crofton Jr. Or Terrell T. Will Williams. As Dakota Westland here set to kick off after scoring the touchdown. Seven to seven, eight minutes and 57 seconds left in the second quarter. Back to return is Terrell Williams and Slim Crawford as they try an onside and onside kick is Zach, the Zach Bowden, the watchdog, Zach says, not on my watch. With the All-State good hands moment. <laughs> that was terrible. No, no. As Trojans offense will take the field with number 10, Trey Haddock at quarterback. Yeah. No. There's... It'll be Dakota State has 12 men on the field. It'll be first and 15 now here for Dakota State. As Dakota State hands off to number 15, Xander Sheehan, he turns the corner. Good, tough run there. Gets back yards. Brings up all the way. about second. He's second and six. That'll bring up third and six. Excuse me, second and six for the Trojans. Uh, missing, missing one guy out there. One of the tight, the tight end. On the quarterback keeper. Gain of two yards. That'll bring up third down. Bring third and three there for Dakota State. Trey Haddock at quarterback. Looks like we have Gabo Gabo at running back. As Dakota State lines up in their 12 personnel set. Two receivers split out here at the bottom. Tyson Grindy and Slim Crawford. Third and about three. He drops back, hands to Slim. John Crofton Jr. <laughs> <laughs> on the set.
First down for the Trojans. <laughs> and and that's another DSU Trojan. Thank you. As Slim Crawford there with a good run. I think he didn't think he stepped out of bounds, but it'll be uh, first and 10 now for Trojans. Good completion there for number 10, Trey Hedick. Same formation. Again, same thing. Hand throw to Slim. Oh, and he gets smashed. Good defense there from the Dakota Westland Tigers. Trey Hedick's pass completes number one. Sean Slim Crofton Jr. He'll gain about three yards. <laughs> Tackle was made. He'll be second and seven. By number 69. Uh, be second in about seven here for Dakota State. And the Trey Haddock pulls the ball as he runs forward and he gets smacked. Dakota Westland bringing the boomstick right now. By number 10, Trey Haddock gains three yards. Be about third and three. This will bring up third down. As Xander Sian checks in at running back. Dakota State stays in their 12 personnel set. Uh, Gavin Folkers and Tommy Lace at tight end. We've got Slim Crawford and Grin Grindy down here in the bottom. And Hedick pulls the ball again and he gets about two yards. It brings up fourth and about one. As McIndale checks in for the Trojans. Fourth and one. You got Trey Hedick at quarterback. Got number 15, Xander Sheehan at running back. As it be fourth and inches here. As Dakota State hands the ball off to Sheehan and he falls forward for the first down. Good hard run. Good push up front by the Trojans O-line. Wiki Wiki and Josh Marks, good push on the left side. Is that Gabe Lamb at center? By Trey Haddock pulls the ball again, gets about four yards. Ben Harms with the tackle there for Dakota Westland, number 72. Oh, here, throw it here. Third and five for the Trojans. Third and five here for the Trojans. Trey Haddock here with a nice drive. He drops back to pass. He throws it up for Tyson Grindy. Wide open and he secures the catch. Tyson Grindy with a nice route and catch there. Trey Hedick with a nice throw and catch. As the Trojans take the lead here, about two minutes and 44 seconds left.
And Ethan Eli pokes it through. Ethan Eli's kick is good. Better make the score. Dakota Wesleyan, seven. Dakota State, 14. As the score is 14 to seven as we're reaching the two minute warning here. Kicking off for the Trojans will be number 36, Josh Smith. Again, Braxton Locker is doing a great job announcing the PA here. Great music choices. As Dakota Westland set back with their one returner. As uh, Jasper Gibson with the hold as Josh Smith approaches and he booms it deep. And uh, good return. Ooh, big smack there at the end from Dakota State. As Great hit there by number 56, Zach Bowden. Zach Bowden, the watchdog, is everywhere patrolling. The kennel. That'll bring up first and ten for the Tigers. As number forty, Rhett Bertram takes the field again. Forty forty seven in that linebacker, Cooper Vincent. As we have first and 10 here for Dakota Westland. As they hand the ball off. And a swarm of Trojans, Zach Bowden again in on the tackle. And, uh, with number 96, Dylan Foos. We'll go nowhere. Jones County Trojan. By number 96, Dylan Foos. Second. Second and nine. The Trojans rush a couple and the ball is overthrown. Brings up third and nine. Intended for number 39, Connor Durko. Brings up third and nine here for Dakota Wesleyan. It's third down, let's make some noise. And a good completion there. Brogan Glover was close to breaking it up, and he's a. And first and 10. It looks like it's right on the 10-yard line. Great pass and completion there from Jensen for the Westland as he hands the ball off. And he has swarmed inside again. It'll be a... F ball is handed off for a gain of maybe one. Tackle was made by number 40, Rhett Bertram. And number 47, Cooper Vincent. Clock. However... 
There is some mustard on the lettuce. Personal foul, face mask. At the distance to the goal, automatic first down. And personal foul on the Trojans. That brings up first and five now. Time out, Dakota Wesleyan. As, as met by a swarm of defenders there. Yeah, He's second and five. And again, good job by Dakota State's defense. Ball's hand off to 28, Garrett Mandolfo. Tackle was made by a host of Trojans. Huh? You want to do live stream? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it.
as they looking to resume play here as Dakota Wesson couldn't really see the number it was one of the interior offensive linemen looked like a might be a knee injury and he is carted off As Dakota Wesson now will resume, it'll be third and five. And it'll be incomplete. It'll be fourth and five now. That pass will be defended by Aiden Johns. And that'll bring up fourth down. The Tigers, let's make some noise. And the ball will be thrown incomplete. Pass is incomplete. It's empty. Was uh, intended for number 29, Landon Iverson. Good goal line stop there from the Trojans with 44 seconds left here in the half. As we have first and 10 now here from their own five yard line. Number 18, Danabring resumes in at quarterback. Two receivers split up top. Slim. And it's handoff to number 24. Sterling Harris as he runs forward for a big gain. A good chunk of yardage all the way up to the 25 yard line before the tackle was made by number 16. It'll be at the 25 yard line now. And number 20, excuse me, number 47, Ashton Munzel. Ashton Munzel with the tackle there. There we go, Dakota State. And Xander Sheehan was at a good run there. Getting about seven. Was made by number 47, Ashton Munzel. Or 47 with the tackle again. Time out by Dakota State. Their final time out of the half. Be second and three. Dakota State takes a timeout. Please set the game clock to 27 seconds. Hey. As we uh, resume here, second and four for the Trojans. Dana bringing at quarterback Sheehan. Xander Sheehan at running back. Trey set up top. Dana bringing takes a five step drop, steps up. He throws a deep for Derek Even. And. Ball is in a good spot there. 16 was in coverage. Mikey Hart. So bring up third and four. Third and four for the Trojans, 21 seconds on the clock. Mm -hmm. 
Derek Even. And attempt and is Derek Even again. It'll be incomplete. Be fourth and four here, Dakota State. And Dakota State will throw out their punt team. P.I.'s, brother. His number 39, Luke Shocker. Uh, Shocker, the long snapper, and Ethan Nilon at punter. Specialists are people, too. And Ethan Eli kicked it a little right. Go get on it. And West will have seven seconds. Seven seconds left on the clock. I'll go wide France. Pass being incomplete. One second left. And the clamps were put on by number Be second and ten here for Dakota Wesley. That'll bring up second and long with one second left. Trojan fans, we need all your help we can get. Let's get loud. And that'll, that'll be the end of the first half. Dakota State, 14. Dakota Westland, 7.
Heartland Energy is a future-focused name. It encompasses everything that we do and the core purpose of who Heartland is. Anybody can say electricity. It's the way our people help our communities grow and therefore have a purpose to that energy. We're constantly looking for different ways to serve our customers the best that we possibly can. We're community owned and we exist to serve our communities. First Premier Bank has deep roots in South Dakota. Our ag bankers are homegrown experts committed to helping you find the right financial solution for your operation. With extensive experience in the industry, First Premier offers flexible options and local decisions designed to help you today and for generations to come. Find a First Premier ag banker nearest you at firstpremier.com slash ag. First Premier Bank, investing in your growth. Member FDIC. At Madison Regional Health System, your unique needs and a positive healthcare experience matter. We are proud supporters of area sports and are here to meet the healthcare needs of our athletes and their loved ones. From routine healthcare to unfortunate sports related injuries, our compassionate healthcare professionals are committed to providing quality healthcare close to home. We are honored to be your healthcare team and happy to help keep you in the game. For over 50 years, Rosebud Wood Products has been serving America's cabinetry needs. Family owned and operated with employees who have been a part of the Rosebud family for decades. They're big enough to handle any job, yet small enough to make sure your project matters. Quality doesn't cost, it pays. So pay the Rosebud factory and showroom a visit today or visit us online at rosebudwood.com. Who is Dakota State University? We are dedicated, disciplined, determined. We are more than students, more than educators, more than alumni. We are Trojans. Dynamic, driven, distinctive. This is who we are, and nothing can stand in our way. First Premier Bank Free Plus Checking gives you the freedom to experience life, to enjoy the things you love, and to breeze through checkout lines with free mobile wallet features. Bank anywhere you want with online account opening and instant issue debit cards. Feel the freedom of no fees, no minimum balances, and no unpleasant surprises. First Premier Bank Free Plus Checking. Apply online or at any branch location. First Premier Bank. Member FDIC. <laughs> this your place? No. No. I live with my mom. Oh. Okay. Hey, you hungry? No, 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 I just had a bite. Do you want a corn dog or something like that? Mom! Corn dogs! I'm good. Mom! Corn dogs! You never know what she's doing in there. Mom! He really needs to get a place of his own. It's a new era at DSU. Dakota State University is rising. Dakota State University athletics are rising. Rising to new heights of performance, of engagement, of fandom. Get ready to experience Dakota State University athletics in a whole new way. You are now entering DSU Trojan territory. An event center, indoor training facility, outdoor sports complex, and shared two-level building concourse will become one consolidated complex, housing existing DSU athletic programs, potential future sports such as soccer and esports, and unique research and academic programs. 
The design's angular form, modern materials, and interactive spaces will further advance the innovative technology-driven environment at Dakota State University. Students, fans, and alumni will be closer to the action with a rotation of the football field and outdoor track. An outdoor plaza will gather faculty, students, alumni, and the community for special events, tailgating, concerts, and graduation. Light wells connecting walkways and glass partitions will visually and physically connect social spaces. The Hall of Fame celebrates our Trojan history. At night, the angled walls will become projection surfaces. Performance labs, training spaces, player spaces, and concessions will be shared between sports and classrooms, and meeting spaces will become club seating. Academic spaces, such as the Institute on Aging, will focus on improving quality of life for aging populations. A biomechanics lab will use technology to improve injury prevention and sports performance. The East Sports Center will combine technology and sport, so DSU Tech athletes can compete in games of skill with universities across the country. The complex will be available to host local, state, and regional athletic competitions from youth to collegiate levels. More visitors coming to Madison will boost area businesses and organizations. Gathering spaces inside and out, the concourse, exterior patios, tailgating areas, and an outdoor amphitheater will connect generations of Trojans. We are ready. We are rising. Come be a part of a new and exciting era of Dakota State University Athletics. Heartland Energy is a future-focused name. It encompasses everything that we do and the core purpose of who Heartland is. Anybody can sell you electricity. It's the way our people help our communities grow and therefore have a purpose to that. Welcome back to the live stream here. We're just waiting on uh, Coach Sinsabai here to come back up. Helping Coach today. Brady Danny bring into the game. He completes the pass. For a five yard gain. And that'll bring, bring about second and six for the Trojans. And welcome back to the Dan Beacom Track Complex, as I'm joined by my co-host, Braxton, the Hurt Locker. Yeah, it's good to be here, since uh... <laughs> well, a great first half here as the Trojans uh, start off with the ball here, first and 10 after a nice first down run. That's handed off to, what is that number? Tr Tremaine Black. Tremaine, Tremaine Black. Black got the handoff. Tremaine Black with the carry. 
Sorry for the, the late interest there. Is that his, uh, looks like it might have been his first carry of the afternoon. Be second 11 now here for the Trojans. Good job by the Dakota Wesleyan D line out there. Number, it looks like number 59 kind of got around the edge. Carter Rents uh, held, held his own there on the end and could make the tackle. And Carter Rents, I know uh, an old Dell Rapid uh, Courier product. As the Trojans here will have second and 11 with a, a trip set here. Tommy Lace uh, tied in on the ball. I know it's been a target here for Dan and Bring. Dannenbring takes his drop. He wants it deep. Oh! As oh. that one is just out of the fingertips. As, uh, AJ seems an intended target. Oh, looks like we have some mustard on the lettuce. Is a, a great thrown ball there by Dannenbring. AJ Simpson uh, got some separation at cor from the corner and wasn't able to hold on to it, but it looks like it wouldn't have mattered anyways because I think we had a, a holding call, I believe. Good job there by uh, uh, AJ Simpson getting some separation from the corner. He outran him for sure. It was the faster guy, but just couldn't hold on, quite hold on to that ball all the way uh, to the ground. As a... Uh, Brings up second in uh, extremely long for Dan and Brings. Same formation, trip set here to the bottom. He motions uh, Birkland out, Jones County product, as he is swarmed. Again, great defense from the Dakota Westland Tigers. Is that number 23? 23 there with the tackle. Isaac Faust, Isaac Faust on the tackle. Red shirt freshman, good open field tackle. Uh, was caught by number. 33 there for the Trojans, Matt Berklin. As now this brings up a, a third and third and long and long. Yeah, you know, Coach Sinsby, I don't think if I if I'm uh, if I'm Brady Dannenberg, I'm not scared to throw another deep shot here. I, I, I'm thinking, you know, maybe maybe we find AJ Seamson on another I, I, vertical I'm, route. I'm not sure the JV had their walk through this morning. I don't know how many Coach Randall had for third and 45, but we'll see what he has drawn up here. As he throws it short there to AJ Seamson and. And it'll be a gain about 10, good completion. Good good, uh, good route by Seamson there, it's kind of a little 10 yard curl. Yeah, as he gets out of bounds and it brings up fourth and 15, so a good start for Dakota Westland as uh, the Trojans send out their punt unit. And uh, they got a- uh, One too many on the field here, got one too many, there we go. They, they wanted to have a bigger shield. Um, and we got the, the Hurt Lock or hurt the, we got the shocker in at snapper. The shocker. You, you're the hurt locker. I'm the hurt locker. We got the shocker in at snapper with Josh Smith at punter. Good snap there by shocker. Low line drive. Good punt as the ball goes down. It is Hudson fixed. Dairy Queen had some butter on his hands as the ball was flopping around there. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure what happened there, but the ball, ball was down, so that, ball, that's, that's the best <laughs> part. Well, uh, can you go into detail? What do you think about that punt to snap operation there? You know, it was a really good punt snap operation. I thought maybe they're they're quite a quite obviously may have been a false start on on the on the on the play, but it didn't matter. It wasn't called. It, it wasn't called. Refs didn't see yep. it. So refs didn't see legal. it. It was a great snap. Yep. Great snap. Great drop. I like the low line drive punt uh, with the wind Definitely kind of tough. swirling today yep. in, the, in, in in the stadium. Tough to um, handle. And uh, he got her. He got her down. As uh, Dakota Westland now come back out on offense here on their, looks like their 32-yard line. And a quick motion out. Going to throw the screen out there. Let's see if we can get off blocks. And Caden Hofer dives in head first. Caden Hofer is a guy that uh, we're really excited to see. A Howard product. Uh, uh, down yeah. the street, down, down here in Madison. Right, right down the road, you know, right in between these two schools. And we're glad he... Glad he chose the Dakota State, but uh, he put his head on the line there, went full bore right at him. <laughs> as that brings up second and four for uh, the, the Tigers, as Dakota Westland comes out in their twin set. And going to be a run here, outside zone, home. Oh, breaks oh, a couple breaks tackles, it. and he He's gone. will be gone. Justin Holm had opportunity to bring him down, and so did Caden Hofer. And that will be a touchdown for Dakota Westland. Uh, the running back. 
Looks like Wyatt Howell on the carry. What? Wyatt Howell on the carry. Good good run there. Strong run to the outside zone. Uh, broke a couple tackles. Had a little stiff arm in there, and he scampered all the way for a Tiger touchdown. Hey. Yeah, home and home. Well, we'll see how this operation is here, oh. Coach Sinsaba. Well, looks, looks like, like they're going to go for two. They're going to go for two. They're, they're setting the tone here. And the Dakota, Dakota West on here in a twin set. Um, they're going to drop back to pass. And they're going to throw a slant, and it's going to be overthrown. Great coverage there by Terrell Williams. Terrell Williams uh, getting sticky like glue. He's able to stick with him. Putting him in the seatbelt, the clamps. The clamps, as, as people say, seatbelt gang nowadays. <laughs> As uh, Dakota Wesson there with a big run was able to cut the lead down to one. As we uh, head into 10 minutes left here in the third quarter, Jay Skogerbo, he has been really on the point there with the clock. He, I tell you what, he's not missing a single second of this game. You know, since about that, that's a, that's a big two-point conversion there that, that, they, that they missed. Tell us about uh, your strategy as a coach going on forward uh, if you're Dakota Wesleyan. <laughs> Uh, I mean, personally, they must have some issues with maybe their kicking game that they did not feel comfortable with it. It definitely kind of changes the, the mindset in a way where you're, you're, you're still, uh, you feel like you're tied, but on the scoreboard, uh, you're not. You know, you're missing that one point. So um, as an offense for Dakota State, it doesn't really change much. Defensively, you, you have that little comfort of knowing, hey, you were still in the lead. We've got to continue to get our stops here. Absolutely. As a... Uh, As Dakota Westland will tee it up here to kick it off, and it looks like we got uh, Slim and uh, T. Will back to return. Let's we'll see if they can make some magic happen. Slim and T. Will, uh, both both very very speedy returners. I, I would not want to kick it to either of them. I know Coach Deef before the game talked to those guys. Hey, let's go make some big plays happen. All right, and let's see. Put the ball. I know when you put the ball in Slim's hand, some dangerous things are going to happen afterwards. <laughs> And they're going to try another onside as Caden Hofer is able to get on it. Good, good smart football play there by Caden Hofer to fall down on the on the squib kick. And that might be a little a little show to you there that Dakota Weston might not trust their kicking game as they're they're just they're 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 just picking a guy to, to kick the ball. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, you know many of these teams forget that there, there's a third component. There's the offense, the defense, but there's the special teams too. Yeah, we're, yeah. we're an important piece and factor. Of this football game, and, and you got it. You got to take care of special teams right away. And uh, it you know, sounds like you're you very it. passionate about it. you. Uh, yeah. you're, you're part of the special teams yourself, I assume. Yes, part of the special teams here at Dakota State. I'm I'm a long snapper. You know, I snap to the punters, snap to the kickers. We have a lot of fun doing it, but we're very vital. Vital. Yeah. Vital. Vital piece. Some would say you guys are like the appendix to the human body. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> As a handoff to Slim, and he gets the edge, and he he is pretty slippery on the sidelines. He's buttered up today. He is he's loose. Yeah, he's <laughs> as uh, <coughs> Preston Iverson's hot spring product. I know this is a big game for him as we got two brothers clashing on the field. We might have to do a board drill between those two in the middle just to settle the game. Just to settle it, Eddie. You know, if it goes to overtime, that might be the solution. Yes. And uh, Headache drops back. Good shake right by Slim. Oh. And, ooh. Slim set him up with the corner post. As uh, Trey Headick a little over top and Slim tapping the head. Looks like he has a little too much action. Need, needs, a, needs a quick breather here. Get, get him a bottle of water and uh, he'll be back in there ready to go. As Jabe Kiso takes the field now. You know, before the game, I got to talk to uh, Preston's other brother. And uh, his brother, uh, Landon, Landon actually gave him some turf tape before the game. So a little bit of uh, enemies coming together to uh, help each other yeah, out. Is, I mean, it's good to see two brothers, uh, you know, able to stay competitive with each other and still play. As uh, Kiso attempts a bubble there, Trey Haddock. Uh, be incomplete, a little, little maybe in front. Um, 
Getting the bubble is a, is a it is a tough route to throw because the, the receiver is running sideways, not typically running downhill, and tough for the quarterback to find a good spot to throw that smaller target. And that brings up third and long again, a situation um, not do not want to be in as a as an offense. And we'll be a doubles formation. Look for Jabe uh, Jabe Kiso or McDonnell here. Those been some of his two favorite targets, and he's going to throw to McDonnell. Good call there, and that'll bring up about fourth and about. Four, fourth and four, and it looks like the Trojan offense will stay out there. Yeah, I, I, I like that call. Keeping the offense on the field, you're bringing back Slim. Uh, you're bringing back some of Trey Heddick's favorite targets. To, uh, let's convert on this fourth down here. So fourth and four. Uh, plenty of time on play clock. They're really hustling up there. So Got doubles formation, two by two. Again, trying to get a look to see what they're going to be in. Looks like that might be in a variation of maybe two man coverage wise. And it is a little, oh, bringing some pressure off of two man. Trey Heddick's going to step out of the pocket. And good Great catch. Great pass. He had uh, number 89. Is that Tyson Grindy? Way to get open. Great catch. Grindy's been open all day long, man. He is just a, he is a good route runner. He's a lot of people compare He's, him to the Justin Jefferson of the NAIA. He is just a great, reliable target. Yep, catching the ball on a Sunday is just, just like Justin Jefferson. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no, he's a big catch radius. Good job by Trey just to put it in a spot where he can make a play on it. As uh, Trey now lines up, look, Matt Berkland still at running back. They're going to put the trip set here to the boundary. Trying to overload it. They're going to motion slim. Uh, becomes a two-by-two two formation. They're going to hand the ball off to Berkland as he's uh, swarmed. Is that 89 looks like for, uh, nope, I'll be uh, 99 for Dakota Westland. Weston Wolberg with a great tackle there, setting the edge. Great tackle there by uh, open field tackle there as uh, Matty Berkland tried to get the old outside zone edge. We want to get outside of the tackles. Run as far outside, but uh, couldn't turn it upfield to get north and south. Too much east and west movement on that play. Yeah, a little too f too much east and west. The motion slim again, and I would throw the bubble, and they do, and slim. Oh, great again! Open field tackle by the corner over there. I I will not lie, the the Coda Westland numbers are somewhat tough to see with this sun right now. I believe that was Mikey Hard at corner for Dakota Westland. As uh, it'll be third and nine again, see if the Trojans can convert another time on this drive. As Grindy will come back over, it'll be a trip set. Uh, Dakota Wesson trying to get the call as the Trojans snap it. And he finds Grindy nice. again, and it'll be, uh, it will be short, so it'll be another fourth and four. Again, Trey Heddick looking right in Grindy's direction right away from the snap. Kind of rolled out to the right side, made a good running throw right into Grindy's chest, and he was able to step out of bounds for a good gain. Set up fourth and manageable. Yeah, fourth and four, fourth and five here. I will say uh, Trey Heddick has done a great job of kind of moving with the pocket and not, uh, not taking a sack, not looking to really run right away, more looking to throw as they line up with trips again. Haddock now takes a snap. He's going to have Kiso open. Oh! Great throw by Trey Haddock there. Holy camoly, great throw. And that was a, a great route there by Kiso. Great, uh, great anticipation by Trey because from up here it didn't look like he was going to be open, and Hedick put it in a pretty good spot. And um, but great, great uh, defense from the Tigers as it's going to be first and ten now for them on offense. Let's see what the Trojan defense can respond. Good series by Hedick was able to pick up a couple first downs. Great defense there. Oh, J2 was able to poke the ball out. Number 15, J Jordan Upton. This is a great defensive unit here for the Trojans. We got that uh, 
those two uh, two middle linebacker, will linebacker guys that, that are willing to put their head through anything with uh, number 50, uh, Caden Hofer, and number three, Landon Surik. Those guys are not afraid to take anything. No. So if you're Dakota Wesleyan, you might want to consider passing here. Uh, Landon Surik's number three. We call him Sandy. Not really sure why we do, but that's his nickname. Uh, they're going to take a – oh, Sandy missed the tackle there. It's going to be – going to bring third and – one now. It's a tricky situation here if you're Dakota Wesleyan. You can run the ball or you can pass the ball. What do you have more confidence in is kind of what you're going to lean on here. I would say uh, third and one here. They're probably going to run the ball. Jackson Jarding with a nice catch. As uh, as Dakota Wesleyan now trip set, they are going to swipe the inside zone swiper back. And it's going to be close. Oh. And I'm, I think they're going to get him for a face mask there or a holding. It's going to be either the one. I, I look like they might have got a piece of his face mask. Looks like a face mask is what they're going to call it. And it looks like it is going to be a face mask. I think it was number three. Uh, Landon Shirk, as he was coming through, I, I, I believe that's who they're going to call it on. As uh, be first and ten now for Dakota Westland. Good, uh, good run there. Good attempt. Good try to good stop there for Dakota State, but a little too handsy with the face mask. And we're going to be in a screen pass here. Good job by J two setting the edge. And good run again. A little too much. This is a this is a really good defensive line in here for the Trojans. You got uh, DJ Gray. Uh, he, he's he's in there at nose tackle. He, he's getting a good push with uh, number 96 and number 97, uh, Dylan Foos and Rashad DeBose at the ends. Those guys are crashing upfield. They're doing a good job making some plays um, for this D line. Yeah, Jensen back to pass over the middle, finds an open target. And be a great okay, completion there. Uh, number 84 with the catch, Jackson Jarding. I'll be first and 10 now as uh, Dakota Weston is moving the football. Good, uh, good RPO there. Mason Barnhart breaks the tackle, is able to fall forward. Good job there by uh, Connor Drake to get the ball out fast, get it out quick, let uh, let his receivers make some magic.
As I apologize there, Dakota Westland with the touchdown will be 19 to 14. Uh, Braxton Locker had to go use the restroom, so he will not be uh, helping us out anymore. <laughs> Are you going As the Trojans now in offense, looking to try to get some going. A minute 57 left here in the third quarter. I will say Blake Van Rogermorder has done a great job with the, the shot clock. And Brax, is, is this mine? As Braxton Locker uh, will be taking over, taking back over PA. Terrence Sir did a great job with uh, the PA there. All right, Murph. Choose vert. Yeah, he's vertical. As we uh, Trojans reset an offense here with Trey Haddock, Trey Haddock at quarterback. And it'll be uh, first and 10 here at the 45. Trey uh, pulls the ball. Good pull as he's running, running, get vertical, and it'll be about a six yard run. Good swarm by Dakota Westland's defense again. Uh, like 18 for Dakota Westland in on the tackle. Number 23, Dakota Westland as well. He's been pretty busy today. Isaac Faust. Be uh, and Trey Heddick again runs the ball, pulls it good outside move, and he's gonna gonna be close to a first down. Be third and one. Fifty-eight with a tackle, Jess. Justin Bayer with the tackle. So it'll be third and one here. That'll bring up third and one for the Trojans. As Trey Haddock. Uh, I believe that's still Preston Iverson next to him. Third and one, and he hands off to Hot Spring. Hot Spring with a nice little cut gets the first down. Good run there by. We call him Trojan, White Iverson here. Trojan. <coughs> and that'll be a first down there for the Trojans. Tackle was made by number 41, Brody Bollinger. 41 for Dakota West on the tackle, Brody Bollinger. As will be first and 10, Trojans. With their tray set. Gun week here, Preston Iverson in gun. Got A.J. And that'll be the... End of the third quarter, Dakota Westland 19, Dakota State 14. As we head to the fourth, looking forward to an enticing quarter of action.
As uh, the Trojans here, first and 10, Trey had a kick quarterback, and he pulls hands off to Preston Iverson. P.I. gets vertical with good hard run. And there's some mustard on the lettuce. Probably going to be holding. <laughs> it is tough sometimes when the running back bounces the ball outside. The offensive line is not expecting him to. And uh, gets called for holding there. As uh, Dakota State now will have first in about 16. As we... Uh, Get lined up will be a Trey set now. We got Tremaine Black in at running back. As Trey Hedick uh, goes through his cadence and he's going to step, hand the ball off. Oops, excuse me. It's going to be RPO. Throw to Tommy Lace as he's going to run and he's going to get vertical. Good hard run there. And Tommy Lace is getting some of his first kind of gains back as he just came back for some came back from injury. But he looked like he was running pretty good there. It'll be second and eight. Good job getting back the, the yards from the penalty. As it'll be second and eight now for the Trojans as they line up in their trip set. As Trehetic goes, hands it off to Tremaine Black. And Trey Black runs hard. And he gains about five there. <laughs> Will be about third and two. Be third and two. For Dakota State's offense, as they look to the side to get their signal, about 17 left on the on the play clock, and it will be trips. And Trey Hedick giving some signals to receivers. Play clock's winding down. And he's getting him in the chest. And there's going to be a little miscommunication there with the center. And it'll be uh, lose about four yards. It'll be fourth and about seven now for Dakota State. <coughs> still on their side of the 50. It's still an opportunity to go for it. They uh, look at the seed. Let's see if we can get number four into the action here. He hasn't had a chance to to get anything. Derek Evans been a target for uh, Trey Haddock here as well. Dakota Westland getting loud on their sideline as uh, Trey Haddock drops back to bat, pass, and he throws it. Good route and catch by AJ Simpson. AJ. AJ Simpson, he's a he's a Mitchell product himself. So I'm sure this game means a lot to him. As uh, be Trojan. right on, Braxton man, right on, baby. the hurt locker. First and ten for the Trojans. Trey Haddock, uh, the trip set here. He's motions pi out. He's got a shot deep. He's got Derek even open. Ooh. And a great call. Cray, a uh, great play call there. Offensive staff. And Derek even, way to get open and catch the ball. Trey Haddock found him and threw a dot. And Jay Skogerbo messing up the clock there again.
And here we go. It'll be a, this is a big play here as Dakota State electing to go for two. A 12 personnel set. And Trey Haddock pulls it and keeps it himself, and he's able to score. <coughs> we had to dive for the pylon. This isn't the song. As uh, Dakota State looking to kick, kick off, it'll be Ethan Eli as he booms forward and he booms it down to the 10. Dakota Westland feels it. We're turning back to the right and lose and contain out there, but good swarm by. Good return there from Dakota Westland. Number 38, Ethan Eli on the tackle. Did you, did you <laughs> That'll be first and ten here for Dakota Westland as they are looking to come back and respond after Dakota State's touchdown. It'll be uh, unbalanced. Hey.
And a great drive by Dakota Westland there as they're able to get the rushing touchdown. As they take the lead now, 22-26 with five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. As uh, be five minutes left here in the fourth quarter, Dakota State 22, Dakota Westland 26. Dakota Westland a good drive there. Gonna, did a good job getting their running game going. As running running back 29, Landon Iverson had some good runs and number 31, Baylor Post Poston. as Dakota State will be set to return. Jackson Jarding is set to kick here, five minutes left. And he kicks it. And Folkers catches the ball, takes a knee. And good field position for Dakota State's offense. Hmm? It'll be first and 10 for Dakota State. Number 18, Dan Bring takes over as, off, as the quarterback. We'll have Trey Black, 21 at running back. Be. Looks like they're going to have a tray set here. Tied in two receivers up top. Tyson Grindy alone down here. Got some room. Be a zone RPO. In incomplete there. Is throwing a swag. Tommy. So bring second and 10 here. Dan and bring uh, with Tremaine Black at running back. Got a trip set up top. Open down here. Grindy at receiver. Dan and bring drops back. Got some push. Finds Grindy. Grindy's able to make a guy miss and fall forward for big gain. Grindy gets the first down. There'll be... Uh, Be on the 49, so just about midfield. There's a uh, time, four minutes, 30 seconds here left. We have a, a, a tray set here. Got the sniffer back, Tommy Lace up top. Preston Iverson at running back. He's going to shift over to the right, and we'll take the snap. It'll be a handoff. Handoff to P.I. He's going to stiff arm. Makes a couple guys miss. Gets a hard two yards there. Got a flag here on the bottom. Looks maybe some extra clicker activities. They're going to call a personal foul there on Dakota Westland's defense. That'll be a first down now for Dakota State. Great job, man. As Dakota State now. Trips open. Uh, 
And Dakota State, we have false start now. I believe it might have been the receiver down here on the bottom, number 89. As will be first and 15 now. It'll be a trip set up top. Danner brings got P.I. next to him. He's going to hand the ball to Preston Iverson. Preston Iverson going to sneak through. Preston Iverson with a nice, tough run. And P.I. going to get about eight yards back there. It'll be second in about... He's second and four. Uh, hand it off to him again. He's going to bounce it outside. And he gets the first down. As Preston Iverson gets the first down. <laughs> As uh, got a trip close set here again. Got Tremaine Black at running back now. First and ten. And throws the bubble out there to Slim. He makes a couple people miss. Gets under two minutes here. Hand, hands the ball off to Trey Black. He's going to get wrapped up in tackle. Going to be a little short. Be third and about two. Number 21, Trey Black on the carry. He'll lose one. It'll be third and three. Third and two. It'll be third and two. Getting close to under a minute here. 22-26. Big, uh. Big conversion coming up here. Trip set. Hands off to Preston Iverson. He's going to fall four. Get the first down. Wait till they... Timeout. Timeout by Dakota West on a minute left here. Ball on the 10 yard line. So you got four downs to get 10 yards for the win. And we got uh, first and goal here from the 10 yard line. <coughs> Dan and Bring drops back. He throws the ball up to Grindy. And they're going to call pass interference. And I believe they're going to call that on defense. We'll never know.
Ah, too late, too late. There we go. Uh, first and three now. Dan and Brings going to throw it up. And. Dan and Brings pass, ball's incomplete. Intended for number 89, Tyson Grindy. Incomplete again to Grindy. So second and three. Uh, second and two, sorry, from the two yard line. One. Preston Iverson on the carry. He'll gain one and a half yards. Don't call time. Yeah, after the Dakota Weston timeout, it'll be third and one. It's going to be short again. Iverson on the carry. Short of the goal line. He'll be stopped at the half yard line by a bunch of Tigers. That'll bring up fourth down. There's going to be another timeout here taken by Dakota Westland. And a great goal line stop there from Dakota Westland. As uh, the Dakota Westland Tigers will take over here, 41 seconds. The ball is on the two yard line.
I don't got. As they, Coda Westland gets a good push there. It'll be out second and six, 30 seconds left. Might have got enough room there to be able to knee this one out now. Good competition from both these teams. And that will end the game. Thank you for joining us today as Dakota Westland 26, Dakota State 22. Thank you for uh, joining in on this fine Sunday afternoon. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. And go Trojans.